Today we're going where no viewer has gone before on Star Trek. The bathroom! Sorry this isn't as sexy as that decon chamber on Enterprise. But Connor, you do look a bit like an Orion. I'm a slave to a good spa day. So holster those phasers and fill up that bathtub, because this is Glue Guns and Phasers. Welcome to the seventh episode of Glue Guns and Phasers, where we'll be whipping up homemade lotion bars to soften even the scaliest of Gorn skin. We will also be making some Ferengi modesty shields. Now you might be asking yourself, what the hell is that? Let's focus on those lotion bars first. Our recipe is affordable, all natural, and would make Booth be proud. That's right. You will need olive oil, beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. You'll also need Star Trek cookie cutters from Think Geek, a cookie sheet, spatula, wax paper, almond oil, a crock pot or conventional range. We'll be using a crock pot. If you so desire, you can pick up some essential oils in your favorite fragrance to create your own signature scent. The first step will be to put your crock pot on high. Go ahead and let your crock pot preheat while you get the rest of the ingredients together. Measure out your beeswax and pour it into the crock pot. We use beeswax chips because they're easier to melt. The beeswax takes the longest to melt, so just take a break and let those melt. After the beeswax is melted, add your coconut oil, you can add your shea butter. After those have melted, you can go ahead and measure out your olive oil and your almond oil in a little container before you pour them into the crock pot. Now you can go ahead and add your vitamin E tablet to make sure your skin is extra soft. The trick with the vitamin E tablet is to take a needle and pierce the tablet and then squeeze all the juices out. So once your mixture is completely melted in your crock pot, you're gonna to wanna to line your cookie sheet with a piece of wax paper as we have here. And I should mention that if you don't wanna ruin your mom's slow cooker, you can put one of these liners in to protect the inside. So now that that's all nice and heated up, we're just gonna put on our safety gloves and pour this mixture right onto that cookie sheet. Don't worry about being precise, we're just gonna Get it all out of the crock pot first. And now it just looks like a bunch of oil, but trust me, once you let it sit, it will solidify, and you will be on your way to making some Star Trek lotion bars. Now once your mixture entirely solidifies, you're gonna to wanna to take your cookie cutter and push it straight into your mixture. Now we already have one set up here to show you. It has this neat little safety feature that helps you pop the guy right out. You are on your way to silky smooth skin. Once your lotion bar is hardened, you can rub it on you in a circular motion to smooth your skin. Wow, you are taking me back to that decon chamber on Enterprise. <laughs> Enough with the rubbing. Let's get to the wrapping. Can I be MC Logical? I'd better stick to Televixen for now. I don't see our wrap crews taking off anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe you're right. In fact, I do feel a little naked now. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got just the thing for that, and I promise it's super easy. You'll need a sewing machine, Star Trek fleece, available at Joann's, Velcro, scissors, elastic, and don't forget that thread. So your first step is to take a towel and measure it around your chest and cut your fabric to match. And then you're going to fold over the edge to make a seam. And you're just gonna go ahead and run that through your machine to make a nice hem. You'll sew a hem on three of the four sides, making sure to leave one of the longest sides open. With this open side, you're going to measure a piece of elastic so it fits around your chest with a little bit of extra. For guys, if you would like to do this, you can measure around your waist. With your elastic, you're going to want to sew one end to one side and one end to the other side. So, um, you're going to want to use a medium width um, piece of Velcro. We use the kind that just sticks onto itself. You could actually go a little wider than this, um, just for more security, you know, so it stays up there. The cool part about this is that if multiple people in your household are going to be using it, if you add extra Velcro, it can fit different sizes. After you've added your Velcro, you're going to fold over the sides to make a casing for your elastic and feed your elastic through the casing. 
Make sure to sew the elastic on both ends so it doesn't escape. And then you're all good to go with your Ferengi modesty shield. And we also found uh, this Star Trek, the original series throw kit for the DIYer who wants it all in one place. So you can use this or the fleece sold by the yard. So there you have it. All the makings for a perfect Trek spa day. Oh, you are making me miss Ryza. We also have a bonus mission available on our website, Planet Bath Bombs. For when you feel like destroying more planets than J.J. Abrams. <laughs> you can get the full instructions on our website, we promise no lens flare. <laughs> and Connor, where can we find you on the web? You can find me at costumepixie.tumblr.com. And you can follow all of our crafting adventures on Twitter, at GlueGunsPhasers. And be on the lookout for our captain's logs, which will feature Trek-centric adventures that go beyond crafts. Now we've loved having you at our spa day. But get out, because we want to enjoy this bath like any true Ferengi female would. Mary, I get the feeling we're being scanned. Sirwinski out!